Today I received this new hybrid inverter from Solstra, uh, courtesy of uh, Jeffrey Chu. And this new hybrid is called TBB Apollo Max. It's a blue one. So we're going to unbox this today. And its specs is we have a 24 volts 150 amps output 13 amps 3 kilowatt its ac charger is 80 amps solar charge is still 150 18 amps and dc out is 50 amps so Let's start. Unit comes with additional accessories. Uh -huh. So I think this is for the Wi Fi. Now it comes with the Wi Fi. Uh, the previous one, its predecessor doesn't come with one, and this one is equipped now with a Wi Fi. So you can now monitor your TDD. Second one is. Let's see what's this. Okay. okay. It has the. What's this? Transfer 12 volts, 2 amps. Hmm. Let's see. What's this? So you have two cable wires, RG45. So it's equipped with two wires. Okay. It doesn't say or any input adapter, but definitely this is an RG45. I wonder what's this? Transfer. Well, we'll check with the manual later and what's its purpose and it's big reveal oh so now they come up with the guide the first one doesn't but this one the good thing is comes up with a guide all you have to do is to place this on the wall and screw pretty neat so what we have another wire let me see so a communication wire so this one is for the battery if you are using lead acid so what you can do is you can oh yes so you can just apply a heat then it will shrink so the equip the uh, have it with a shrink wrap so for your lead acid battery cable so that's your battery terminal uh, battery temperature sensor so these are for your mounting bracket mounting so, see. so it goes with this another RJ this one is RJ12 because it's only have four ports so RJ12 we'll investigate it further and you have another RJ45 your mounting bracket 
which is a bit smaller uh, compared from the previous 48 volts 3 kilowatt also and your manual and your quick guide so your quick guide manual so let's place it on the side and now this is your inverter okay so let's check oh it's still heavy the same heavy inverter so as you can see they have the same constructions so it has a perforated steel so you can see from inside from the outside the huge torrid core see bolted two bolted which is big the same construction let us see on the let's remove the plastic first that you can see the entire okay so now they remove the side uh, perforated uh, metal uh, cover so now it's only concentrated on the back see the other side also none but the beauty of it is everything is on the written on the side so your specs everything you have the wiring code parameter set which is very good so you have the codes everything you also have the fault code which is very good so it's easier now to look if you have an error you have the parameter set and the navigation buttons which is good so they have it a different now this one is a push button the previous one is a rocker switch now it's an off and off on and off button so let's see on the other side Okay. So here you have your specs. Model, inverter, what's in the box earlier. And last one is the, it's really heavy. yes so inverter charge fault now what is missing is the bypass we'll check on the uh previous video and also i'm going to take a picture of the comparison on the lcd and also uh the description there were four on the previous model this one is three so it's an advanced solar inverter so that's it for now as a summary so you have your screws rj11 bts RJ45, your mounting, manual, and your quick guide, installation guide. So, 
See you again on the next unboxing, part 2. Thumbs up!